cow. All right. Look, 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 what are we gonna do? You guys are terrible at quarters. Let's break into a school or uh, steal a cop car or something, huh? Do you have Ritalin? What? Guys, come look at this. You don't think it's a little weird, a bunch of guys just piling up in a big bathtub together? It's called male bonding, okay? Haven't you even seen wild hogs? Hot Tub Time Machine is directed by Steve Pink, who co-wrote High Fidelity and Gross Point Blank, and stars John Cusack, Craig Robinson, Clark Duke, and Rob Corddry as four guys transported back in time to the 80s. Watch out, here I come. come. What the hell happened last night? Is there some kind of retro thing going on this weekend? There's something going on in here. Dude is rocking cassette player. Leg warmers. I'm sure there's a good explanation for all this. Jerry girl! Excuse me, miss. What color is Michael Jackson? Black. Focusing entirely on the four male protagonists in typical Wild Hog style, the film is more than a bit of a boys club. It definitely has sexist undertones. The true irony of the film is that in winning its adult R rating, it ensures it will only appeal to 13 year olds, technically barred from seeing it. Maybe half the jokes in the film are focused on bodily fluids, and the rest are strung together sequences of profanity. Is it too much to ask for some intellectual humor? Well then how about at least something with a setup and a punchline? The film boasts one self-conscious moment where Craig Robinson turns to the camera and speaks the film title. But that one scene just highlights how unaware the rest of the film is. At one point, they unintentionally rip off a Cusack movie that no one is nostalgic for, Serendipity. Drugged up but still charming, he and the love interest follow the relationship arc of Garden State in Fast Forward but with the added bonus of fate and time travel, barf. What's equally confusing and damnable is the film's downer tone. These are miserable people living miserable lives. It's not just one guy in the group who's the butt of the jokes. Everyone is self-loathing. And if the film had a message, it would be that films were better in the 80s, so the movie is self-loathing too. And what's more, the pacing is so hyperactive as to instill a form of glazed eye shock coma. If you are going to see this movie, don't do it in theaters, and don't rope anyone into seeing it with you. Have a few drinks first if you're legal, and be thankful for what you can't remember. I give it one out of five stars. Look for my interview with the director, Steve Pink, in the Columbia Chronicle or online.